The Battle of Sangju was one of the first battles in the first phase of the Japanese invasions of Korea. The Koreans attempted to stop the Japanese invasion and prevent the siege of Fort Chungju. However, the superior technology of the Japanese forces, particularly the arquebuses, proved decisive. Similar to most Korean generals at the start of the war, Yil performed poorly. The Japanese were victorious and pushed on to Changju. Sangju. Yil gathered 1,000 men from among the local peasantry in Sangju. Yil did not want to be annihilated inside Sangju so he arranged his men on a small hill nearby. When a messenger arrived warning of the Japanese approach, Yi had him beheaded, so that his announcement would not lower his men's morale. Yil then sent out a scout to locate the position of the Japanese army. Unfortunately, the scout was shot and killed by a Japanese sharpshooter. When the scout did not return, Yil assumed the Japanese were nearby. Soon, the Japanese soldiers under General Konishi Yukinaga appeared. Konishi and his generals then ordered the Ashiguru to fire upon the Koreans with arquebuses. Following a volley of fire, his infantry charged. As the Japanese began to advance up the hill, Yi ordered his men to return fire, but their arrows fell short. Konishi Yukinaga split his force and began to encircle the Korean emplacement. Yi Il turned his horse around, and retreated with his remaining army. Konishi's army was victorious, killing approximately 300 of the defending Korean force. Konishi continued to lead his men and to Chengju for another victory.